Hi, this is Dr. Gary, and welcome to our daily tune-up today. We're in a brand new week, a brand new year. Last week we talked about allowing and letting go. And today I'm going to talk about really another thing that some people just kind of forget about. We talk about it all the time, but I want you to really think about it today. I want you to think about what you say to another person. I want you to understand when another person talks to you, their own complex equivalency. That means the things that they think are probably different than what you're perceiving they're thinking based upon what you know about what you're saying. I know that sounds kind of complicated, but it's as easy as this. Other people's complex equivalency or their belief system about certain words, certain things, and certain perceptions is theirs. Yours is yours. And when we speak, sometimes people do not understand our view of what we're saying. They see it from their perspective. What happens then? People's feelings get hurt. They don't understand exactly what you're saying, or they perceive you as being uncaring, negative, or someone who is not thinking about what they're telling them. So what I want you to do today is really listen to your words the way you speak to other people. And there's kind of a secret. One of the secrets is listen to what they say first and how they say it. And you're going to notice there are certain words that will stand out. They're going to be what we call predicates. And those words are feeling words, seeing words, or hearing words. In neurolinguistic program, we call it visual, auditory, or kinesthetic. The kinesthetic being the feeling part. Each one of us dominates one of those representation systems when we speak, especially when we're in downtime. If you say something to someone and you're a visual type person and they're an auditory type person, they're probably not going to get you until you use auditory type words or at least review and feed back to them the same type of predicates or descriptive phrases they use. When you do that, they're going to think you're on the same wavelength and the same page they are and you're going to be amazed at the difference in your communication and the way you're perceived and the things that you say and think will be understood by that person. Let's work on that today. It's important, more important than you can ever imagine. And remember, you're probably not as negative as people think you are, but they're seeing you that way because they're not on the same page you are built upon the predicates they're using. They're visual, auditory, or kinesthetic, and so are you. And it's what we call mismatched representational channels. Let's think about that. And also, if you're having trouble with your relationship with your spouse, girlfriend, or a loved one, I can guarantee you this right here is in the middle of that. So it's really important we pay attention to other people's complex equivalencies or their view of the world and understand how other people understand our words. And one final example, if I say the word flower, what do you think of? Some, be, some people may think of a rose or a daisy or some might, someone might think of baking flour. And if you don't know exactly how they represent that word flower, and they're thinking of a rose and you're thinking of baking flour and you go off onto a conversation and about 20 minutes later their perception was completely different of what you even met. So let's work on it today. Until tomorrow this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary day and always remember this is the year of allowing and letting go. Until tomorrow I'm wishing you the best day ever. Bye bye.